I'm afraid I've got some bad news for you, G. You're in space! You're in space? And it's actually kind of scary. Kind of scary! Well, they call it a spooky sprint, so hopefully this means I get to go fast, you know? <laughs> Got, gotta go fast! Oh, yeah. This is actually going to be less fun than I thought. Dawn. Yeah. So... Yeah. yeah, we got a thing to do. This initial platform doesn't really serve any particular purpose whatsoever. But you saw that boo with the helmet earlier, which I believe there's also boos with helmets in uh, Mario Strikers Charged on the Wii, if I remember correctly. But basically, I gotta have, I have to do a more blue Polestar stuff. It's one of the less fun things to do with the, my current control setup. And no, I'm not going to stop the recording and change my control setup, because I don't have any reason to do it. So you're after it, too. Kind of reminds me of the guys manning the blue coin shine store in Mario Sunshine. I suppose you're here for that, huh? Like, maybe in some cultures, stars are considered contraband? Who knows? Well, this isn't super awful. Though I am also reminded that this is going to be a really awful uh, purple coin star later. I haven't even had one of those yet. Those are a lot of people's uh, least favorite, and quite frankly, the most difficult stars in the game, for the most part, are uh, comets in galaxies that require you to collect 100 purple coins. Because regular 100 coin stars aren't a thing in this game. I kind of thought for a while that Sunshine didn't have them because there were a lot fewer coins to grab. Oh my gosh! This is going to require two tries, isn't it? I was doing really well, and then I just started sucking butt. I don't like pole stars! Good thing they kind of... well, they didn't get rid of them, but they're a lot less common in Galaxy 2. Uh, that, that wasn't fun at all. And do I die because I lost? Oh my gosh, go! <laughs> that sucked. Once more, hopefully with a star that is less unfun to get. Uh, right now, it's uh, starting off pretty good because we're doing some actual, you know, 3D platforming. You know, what I signed up for this game for. Let's see if I can do something cool to. Never mind. Just don't push me all the way around. Um, alright then. Must always long jump constantly because that is. That's how we roll. Rolling. And there is clearly a launch or sling or whatever over there. So we're going to use these convenient explosive ghosts. Why they have massive tongues that are solid that we can grab and also swing them around? Uh, I don't know. They've pretty much only appeared in this game. I do say it is a lot more fun than carrying bob around, which you also do in this game. You knew that already, so I don't need to tell you that. Hmm. Well, this is clearly a thing that you can, there we go, spin on, except it's on the wall, which is kind of strange. 
Oh, boy, I am taking a lot of unnecessary risks again. That looks like a sling pod thing, and it, that's because it is. Oh my gosh, please die. Thank you. I'm not a big fan of sling pods, to be honest. Oh boy, that was a close one. I wall jump too easily. As long as we don't go into the... Okay, there we go. I did it. I did it again. Maybe we'll just make this a daredevil exercise. Nah, no, we'll do that. Let's blow some stuff up. There we go. Give me a coin. For little reason other than to mostly just stop the incessant beeping noise. Ooh, now that would be an interesting top ten list. Uh, top ten most annoying low health noises in games. Uh, you got the the Pokemon doo 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 doo, and then you got the Zelda's got a couple different ones uh, ranging in di varying degrees of annoyance. There's a uh, and uh, or something like that. That one. Super Mario 64 was nice enough to not have. It doesn't do anything. Super Mario 64 was nice enough to not have any sort of low health thing. It was nice. Well, I guess there was the one when you were in the water, but again, it's still not nearly as annoying as anything in this game. So here's a weird thing. Oh, it's a bouncy interior. That kind of makes sense, I guess. It looks bouncy enough, I suppose. My ground pound, I'm gonna bounce higher, right? Maybe. Could work, to be honest. I guess it's actually kind of been a while since I've played this game. But now we've got something fun to do, because... Since I skipped the initial landing on the planet, I wanted to kind of make this a semi-surprise. It's boss time! This is probably one of the more notable bosses in this game, if for little reason other than the fact that it reappears in C2, and also um, appearing later in this run-through as a Daredevil run. Well, nearly all the bosses uh, reappear as Daredevil runs. I got double hit. That's what I was going for. Sure is nice of him to sling golden rocks at us. There's almost always a way to heal during boss fights, though, so it's not that unique. So yeah, I made very, very short work of that boss. It was kind of difficult. Oh, right. Here's the hard part. We're not done. Have the uh, Nintendo boss trope number. Well, it has to be a low number because it's used so often they don't want to overuse numbers. Well, I got a double hit there, except one missed his face. Uh, the arms. If you attack the arms, it doesn't do anything. It's kind of like when you're playing Sunshine and fighting that blooper boss. No, like tentacles, it doesn't matter, you just gotta go for the nose. That was unfortunate. That time I hit the other ghost bomb. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, this is this is where he gets you, where he traps you within the confines of his spires? Is that the correct term? Oh, who cares? Whee! Alright, well let's just attack his Well, I'm not going to be breaking any world records in terms of fighting this boss, but the important thing is to look cool. That is not cool. Man, I have really got to stop hitting the other moves. Like at least. Well, getting hit is always an option, I suppose. There we go. That's much better. Well, at least I actually hit stuff with both of them. But I don't need arms to beat you! Oh, almost ran 
set out the timer for the bomb pool thing. It probably has a real name, but I, I don't know what it is. So this time the boss is dead for reals this time. And even though it took he had two phases, it still pretty much followed the rule of three. Give me that star, baby. I am back at the annoying race level, and hey, check out this glowing thing. There was something more fun here, and I'm not saying that because I know what it is. I'm saying that because there's no way it could be worse than uh, that annoying race thing. And I can't fling you around by your tongues. You have them. This must be smarter boos because they just don't, you know, stick them out. Just a little taste, guys. Well, that's not what I was expecting. Yeah, we got a thing where we just gotta follow invisible building up platforms. And at least now I get to hit this block. So we, we all need star bits. Because there are Lumas that are hungry and we need to feed the hungry. I guess. Well, I can already hear the star in the distance. If, if I were, you know, reckless, which I kind of am, I could probably try some crazy long jump and see where that gets me, but then I might die, and if I die, then I die. Hey, I did a skip thing. That was kind of cool, right? Oh, I hope that piano doesn't try to eat me. Hey, cool, it didn't. That's pretty awesome. Uh, that I mean, I don't have to wake in fear. Seriously, I don't think anything in a Mario game could be as scary as that tries to eat you. It was just... In the way, it was just completely unexpected and it just lurches at you, but only close. It was just... Brilliant. So which one of these do I want to long do I want to wall jump off of? Oh, none. That's good. This I think is more fun than uh, what I was doing earlier with following the stuff around, because you know I can do some platforming. You know what? Uh, one secret star deserves another, I suppose. We're back here in the Beach Bowl Galaxy for the third star specifically. That was. We went to that one area that I mentioned was going to be appearing later in this playthrough, and also later in Mario games in general, and I'm pressing the wrong button again. Uh, I'm trying to get this shell over this little platform over here, but it's, 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 it's uh, not working. I guess that works too. Got this chest here, and here we go. We've got another secret area to head off to. You know what? It's time for everybody else to step up. Make plays! If you did not understand that reference, and it's highly unlikely that you would, uh, it's probably because you're not a college football fan. And if you are a college football fan and you still didn't get that reference, then you're probably that probably means you're not a Michigan State fan. I'm also not a Michigan State fan, but, but I'm also a fan of Coach Meltdown, so... Playoffs? Are you kidding me? Don't talk about playoffs! I guess while we're on the subject of sports, uh, there was a... Uh, the ending to the MLB season today, so the playoffs have been decided, and I'm actually not that big of a uh, NFL. I am kind of a big NFL fan, but I'm not that big of a baseball fan, so I don't actually know who's in yet. I'm gonna look that up later. But doing, I'm talking about sports, and all, I know that. Well, I know that it is a 
flat out fact that everyone who watches LPs on YouTube also loves talking about sports. I should be talking about this part of the level. It's themselves a new pair of shoes that Ouija needs to buy. As I was saying, uh, we got ourselves a really cool uh, power up here that. Aw, oh, yay, I still did manage to do it, okay. So yeah, this is an ice flower, and it's a very cool power-up that sadly does not appear in the sequel. Yeah, because it's... I mean, look at it, you, you get to make ice on things, and skate around, and turn waterfalls into things that you... Uh, ...jump up. It's amazing. And we've actually got a... I think it's gonna be... Kind of annoying, but maybe it won't be. But that thing over there is a thing that is called a. I want to say Canuck, but I know that's completely incorrect. It's something, and it has a weird name, but it appeared at Sunshine, and it kind of made a surprise appearance in this game. And it's cool because it does that. Let's do a Bowser level. It's been a while since I've gotten to dance with a Grand Star. Oh, Grand Star, I miss you, baby. I never get to hang out with your friends because they all morphed into that giant fireball they won't let me get near. I keep trying, but all the Lumas have like really tight security around that thing. It's hard. Now I wonder if there's like a core of that inside of Starship Mario. And where the heck is my Starship Luigi? All questions that will be answered probably never. Who put the ween in Halloween? I don't know. Probably you. Freaking weirdo. Why am I taking an enormously amount of time, long amount of time to set up this thing? I don't know, because I feel like it dangerously. Cutting it that close was completely unnecessary. Completely unnecessary is my... Or is it? I know what my middle name is. I'm gonna cut it unnecessarily close again? Sure, why not? Because actually aiming for the... Aiming for getting within range of the pole star is probably easier than aiming for pole itself. So we got ourselves like a... I don't know, this looks like a skateboard to me, really. I'm getting so much. Totally should have paid that Luma earlier. Since I didn't, it's like I'm doing a challenge run or something. Doing a challenge run would imply that I actually have a considerate, considerate amount of skill in this game. Which, seeing as you are seven or eight episodes in, I clearly am not. not to, we get to do more, which is fun. One thing I have been actually kind of wondering is uh, which one like, you to salt the most amount of cool. If I, like, if I wanted to cheat, I'd probably say Mario Maker, because you can just make a level with, like, a bunch of Koopas, and then, like, you just, you know, take one shell, take them all out in one fell swoop. But it probably is a 2D game, because this really don't appear a lot in 3D games, like, in general. Say, I hope I didn't win already, because it's, like, not really been doing much of anything. It's actually, it actually is kind of a cool boss fight, though. You're just taking on an airship. Airship. Show off that mechanic, since I haven't actually done it yet. But yeah, he, uh... Something smart and stopped facing me with his brats. These are reasons why the Millennium should never be in a dogfight. So you can turn the Millennium Falcon and then you have this massive broadside facing your enemy potentially, and it makes yourself a really big target. 
sure I'm taking a lot of hits, but it appears that that doesn't really matter because I'm already won. We have only begun to fight. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Let's get out of here. Alright. You, me, Grandstar, what do you say we go back to my place? I plug you into my stereo. No other Grandstars, it's strictly hypothetical between us. I never touched that floaty face. How am I gonna plug this into my stereo? It's blue. Get back in the kitchen! I don't wanna. I'm going to my room. Because it's called the bedroom, you see?